Enrique's heart raced as he barged into the supermarket, the automatic doors sliding shut behind him with a soft whoosh. The fluorescent lights overhead cast a harsh glow over the idols, illuminating the lone figure at the checkout counter, a frail, elderly woman clutching the single bun in her trembling hands. Feeling a pain of sympathy, Enrique approached the checkout counter, his sleek black hair tied in a ponytail swaying with each hurried step. He caught snippets of the conversation between the elderly woman and Paula, the cashier, as he drew closer. I'm sorry, Grandma, but I just can't, Paula said with a note of exasperation, her stiff curls bouncing as she shook her head. His conscience nudged him forward, urging him to intervene in the unfolding drama. Excuse me, ladies, he began, his voice carrying a hint of charm. Is everything all right here? Paula, her expression softened by Enrique's approach, sighed. Just a small hiccup, sir. This lovely lady seems to be a bit short on funds for her groceries. The elderly woman, her eyes brimming with gratitude, nodded in agreement. Yes, dear. My grandson promised to send money, but it hasn't arrived yet. Enrique's heart softened at the sight of her trembling hands clutching the meager bun. Without hesitation, he reached into his pocket, pulling out a wad of bills. Let me take care of that, he said, flashing a reassuring smile. And while you're at it, Paula, could you add a pack of cigarettes for me? Paula nodded, her gratitude evident as she scanned the items. Of course, sir. Thank you for your kindness. As Paula bagged the groceries, the elderly woman's eyes brimmed with tears of relief. Bless you, young man, she whispered, her voice quivering with emotion. Enrique waved off her thanks, his heart warmed by the simple act of generosity. It's my pleasure, ma'am, just paying it forward. With a final nod to Paula, he made his exit, the weight of his impromptu act of kindness lifting his spirits. As he exited the supermarket, he couldn't shake the feeling that this encounter was just the beginning of something unexpected and extraordinary. As Enrique left the supermarket, a young girl in a striking red dress stood at the entrance, her gaze fixed on him with a mixture of curiosity and admiration. Luna, her name whispered softly by the breeze, observed Enrique's act of kindness with keen interest. Her emerald eyes followed Enrique's every movement, lingering on the exchange between him, the elderly woman, and Paula, the cashier. Luna felt a tug at her heartstrings, a stirring of emotions she couldn't quite comprehend. A passing stranger noticed Luna's intense focus and paused beside her. Quite a sight, isn't it? He remarked, his voice carrying a note of intrigue. Luna tore her gaze away from Enrique's departing figure, her mind still lingering on the scene inside. Yes, she replied, her voice barely above a whisper. It was unexpected. The stranger nodded knowingly, a small smile playing at the corners of his lips. Acts of kindness have a way of leaving a lasting impression, he mused. Would you agree? Luna offered a hesitant smile in return, her thoughts drifting back to the encounter she had just witnessed. Yes, she admitted, her voice tinged with wonder. Yes, they do. With a final glance towards the supermarket, Luna turned on her heel and disappeared into the bustling streets, the memory of Enrique's generosity etched into her mind. Ten days had passed since Enrique's encounter at the supermarket, yet the memory lingered in his mind like a haunting melody. As he approached his car parked on the crowded street, he noticed a peculiar sight. An envelope nestled beneath the windshield wiper. With a furrowed brow, Enrique plucked the envelope from its resting place, his curiosity peaked. As he tore it open, his breath caught in his throat at the sight of the contents, a weathered drawing that stirred memories long dormant. Enrique's fingers trembled as he unfolded the drawing, revealing a familiar sight, a wooden marionette named George. His heart pounded in his chest as he traced the intricate lines of the sketch, the memories flooding back with startling clarity. Lost in thought, Enrique barely noticed the approach of a passerby, a woman with a kind smile and a curious glint in her eye. Is everything all right? She inquired, her voice gentle. Enrique blinked shaken from his reverie by her unexpected presence. Yes, yes, I'm fine, he replied, though his tone belied his inner turmoil. Just surprised is all. The woman's smile widened, a knowing spark in her eyes. Surprises can be quite the adventure, wouldn't you say? She remarked cryptically before disappearing into the throng of pedestrians. Enrique was left alone once more, 
the drawing clutched tightly in his hand. With each passing moment, the mystery of the envelope deepened, drawing him further into its enigmatic embrace. Enrique sat in his dimly lit apartment, the drawing of George resting on the coffee table before him like a silent sentinel. Memories swirled around him, fragments of his childhood weaving intricate patterns in his mind. Determined to unravel the mystery behind the drawing, Enrique delved into his past with renewed fervor. He rummaged through old photo albums, tracing the threads of his childhood back to the forgotten corners of his memory. As he flipped through the pages, he stumbled upon a faded photograph, a snapshot of him and a young girl, their faces lit up with youthful exuberance. The girl's name, Luna, echoed in his mind, a beacon guiding him through the labyrinth of his past. Lost in thought, Enrique barely noticed the sound of his phone ringing, a familiar melody that pierced through the haze of nostalgia. With a start, he answered the call, the voice on the other end pulling him back to reality. Enrique, it's Paula, came the familiar voice of the cashier from the supermarket. I hope I'm not interrupting anything, but I wanted to check in on you. You seem unsettled when you left. Enrique sighed, grateful for the concern of the woman who had witnessed his act of kindness. I appreciate your call, Paula, he replied, his voice tinged with gratitude. I'm just sorting through some things from my past. It's been overwhelming. There was a moment of silence on the other end of the line, as if Paula was carefully considering her response. Sometimes, revisiting the past can be the key to unlocking the future, she offered softly. Don't be afraid to confront the shadows, Enrique. They hold the secrets to your innermost desires. Enrique's brow furrowed at her cryptic words, but he couldn't deny the truth in her sentiment. Thank you, Paula, he murmured, a newfound resolve coursing through his veins. I'll keep that in mind. With a renewed sense of purpose, Enrique returned his attention to the photograph in his hands, the memories of his past guiding him towards the answers he sought. Enrique's search for answers led him to the realization that Luna, the young girl who had observed his act of kindness, held a significant connection to his past. With a sense of determination burning within him, he embarked on a quest to find her. After days of relentless searching, Enrique's efforts finally bore fruit as he tracked down Luna's address. With a mixture of anticipation and nervousness, he made his way to her doorstep, his heart pounding in his chest. As he stood before Luna's door, uncertainty gnawed at him. Would she remember him? Would she be willing to share her own memories of their shared past? Summoning his courage, Enrique knocked on the door, his heart hammering in his chest. After what felt like an eternity, the door swung open, revealing Luna standing before him, her emerald eyes wide with surprise. Enrique? Luna's voice was barely above a whisper, disbelief coloring her tone. Is that really you? Enrique offered a sheepish smile, relief flooding through him at the sight of Luna's familiar face. Yes, Luna, it's me, he replied, his voice tinged with emotion. I've been searching for you. Luna's expression softened, a hint of warmth in her eyes. I never thought I'd see you again, she admitted, her voice filled with quiet wonder. What brings you here? Enrique took a deep breath, gathering his thoughts before speaking. I came to find answers, he confessed, his gaze locked with Luna's. Answers about our past, about George, about everything that happened. Luna nodded in understanding, her expression filled with empathy. I've been searching for answers too, she admitted softly. Maybe, together, we can finally uncover the truth. With a shared sense of purpose, Enrique and Luna stepped into the embrace of their shared past, their reunion marking the beginning of a journey filled with discovery, forgiveness, and the promise of a brighter future. In the quiet moments that followed their reunion, Enrique and Luna delved deep into their shared past, unraveling the tangled threads of their childhood memories. With each revelation, they found themselves drawing closer together, bound by a shared desire to uncover the truth. As they sat together in Luna's cozy living room, surrounded by the soft glow of candlelight, Enrique felt a weight lifting from his shoulders. With Luna by his side, he no longer felt burdened by the ghosts of his past. Luna, Enrique began, his voice filled with sincerity. I want to thank you for helping me find closure. Without you, I would still be lost in the shadows of my past. Luna smiled warmly, her eyes sparkling with understanding. You don't have to thank me, Enrique, she replied gently. We're in this together, remember? 
Whatever you're going through, I'm here for you. Enrique nodded, a sense of gratitude washing over him. I've spent so long carrying these burdens alone. He admitted, his voice choked with emotion. But with you by my side, I feel like I can finally let go. Their conversation continued late into the night as they shared stories, memories, and laughter. With each passing moment, Enrique felt the walls around his heart crumbling, replaced by a newfound sense of peace and acceptance. As the first light of dawn broke through the darkness, Enrique and Luna sat together in companionable silence, the weight of their past no longer a burden but a stepping stone towards a brighter future. Enrique, Luna said softly, breaking the silence, I want you to know that you're not alone anymore. Whatever lies ahead, we'll face it together. Enrique smiled, his heart overflowing with gratitude. Thank you, Lumen, he replied, his voice filled with emotion. I don't know what the future holds, but as long as you're by my side, I know everything will be all right. With a shared sense of determination and a newfound bond forged in the fires of their shared past, Enrique and Luna embraced the promise of a new beginning, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead together.